Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we will learn about chain rule. Suppose there is a composite function y equal to f of g of x. Here, g of x is an inner function and f of x is outer function. When we want to find differentiation of this term, we write dy by dx equal to first we will differentiate the outer function so f differentiation is f dash and inner function should be written as it is then into we have to differentiate the inner function its differentiation is g dash this is the way we follow the rule for differentiation of composite function we will take another example suppose if we have a composite function where it is f of g of h of x. So h of x is the innermost function, then outer function is g, then outermost function is f. So this is innermost which is present inside g and the g is the function which is present inside the f. So as usual, when you want to find differentiation of this, we start from the outermost function. We differentiate f as f dash. When we differentiate the outer function, the inner functions should come as it is. Then into. Once the differentiation of the outer function is completed, we come for the differentiation of the inner function. g of h of x. Again, the outer function is g. So g dash of and the inner function should be written as it is. Then comes the innermost function's differentiation. h of x is h dash of x. So we start from the outer function and we continuously differentiate one after the other taking the next inner function. Let's solve some of the problems based on the chain rule method. So now we have a function. This entire term present inside the power 5. So this is the inner function and this one is the outer function. The differentiation of x power n gives n x power n minus 1. So this we are going to apply for the outer function. The outer function we have n as phi. So this x is this entire inner function. Now this will become phi and the entire inner function should be written as it is whole power n minus 1 which is 4 into once the differentiation of outer function is completed, we have to differentiate the inner function. This differentiation is 4x cube plus 3x square differentiation is 6x and minus 2 differentiation is 0. So we will close the bracket. Next question, y equal to e power root x. Generally, we have an exponential function e power x. But now, instead of x, we have another function root x. So here the outer function is e, the inner function is root x. First let's differentiate the outer function. Differentiation of e power x is e power x. Already we have listed the formula in the previous video. Differentiation of e power x will give e power x. So in that way e power root x differentiation is e power root x only. But once the differentiation of outer function is completed, we have to differentiate the inner function. Root x differentiation is 1 by 2 root x which is based on the formula x power n which is n x power n minus 1. Here root x means x power half. So applying this formula we get this answer. Next question y is equal to sin power phi x. So this we can rewrite as sin x whole power phi. Here the outer function is this power and inner function is this sin x. So first we have to apply x power n formula. Its differentiation is n x power n minus 1. Now dy by dx will become phi sin x whole power 4. Next coming to the inner function sin x. Its differentiation is cos x. So totally we have phi sine power 4x into cos x. 
next one we have y equal to cos x square here the outer function is cos then the inner function is x square so first we have to differentiate the outer function the differentiation of cos x is minus sin x so here, here it is going to be minus sin x square because the inner function should be written as it is once the differentiation of outer function is completed we come for the inner function and the differentiation of x square is 2x so the final answer is minus 2x sin x square next one y is equal to secant of tan x here the outer function is secant and the inner function is tan x so first we will differentiate the outer function the differentiation of secant x is secant x tan x so we have to write secant of tan x into tan of tan x here the formula which we apply is differentiation of secant x will become secant x tan x but in place of x in this problem we have the inner function tan x so both the places should be tan x here once the outer function differentiation is completed we have to differentiate the inner function which is tan x differentiation of tan x is secant square x the next one we have y is equal to tan e power t here this is outer function tan and the inner function is e power t but in the next one e is the outer function and the inner function is this power now we will follow the differentiation dy by dx equal to first we have to differentiate outer function tan differentiation is secant square so secant square inner function should be written as it is and next the differentiation of this inner function is e power t differentiation is e power t itself since the given question is in terms of t here we supposed to write dy by dt we are differentiating with respect to t then plus here the e power something will be e power only so e power tan t is e power tan t it's differentiation next we have to differentiate the inner function tan t which is secant square t next one we have three functions so the outermost is sin next inner function is sin again the innermost is sin this differentiation dy by dx we have to start from the outermost function so first we are going to differentiate this outermost sin that will become cos when we differentiate the outermost function the inner functions should be written as it is then after that we have to come to the inner function this differentiation we have to do so sin differentiation is again cos but after differentiating this sign this innermost function sin x should be written as it is then coming to the innermost function sin x this differentiation is cos x next one we have the outermost function is cos this entire term is inner function so when we start the differentiation we have to differentiate the outermost function cos differentiation is minus sin all the inner function should be written as it is after this we have to see the next inner function the next inner function is the square root differentiation of root x is 1 by 2 root x which is based on the formula x power n differentiation is n x power n minus 1 so we have to put into differentiation of this square root is 1 by 2 root sin of tan pi x after that next inner function is this sin sin differentiation is cos so we'll write it here cos of tan pi x after this the next inner function is tan pi x its differentiation is secant square pi x and the last innermost function is pi x its differentiation is pi next one we have y is equal to root of cos root x the outermost function is the outside square root its differentiation is 1 by 2 root and all the inner function should be written as it is next comes the differentiation of cos root x here the outer function is cos so its differentiation is minus sin 
and once again the inner function is written as it is. Then the differentiation of root x which is the next inner function which is 1 by 2 root x and this is inside the sign so we cannot cancel anything here. So we can rearrange this there is a minus sign in the numerator and the numerator is sin root x whole divided by and there are two twos which you multiply we get 4 then we have root x root cos root x. Next one y is given as root of x plus root of x plus root x. dy by dx will be first we have to differentiate the outermost function the square root which is 1 by 2 root of all the inner function should be written as it is. Next we have to differentiate the inner function. So we have to multiply here open bracket. The differentiation of x is 1 plus then the second term differentiation is 1 by 2 root x plus root x but once again we differentiated the outer function then this inner function differentiation should come next into bracket open this x differentiation is 1 plus root x is 1 by 2 root x bracket close and the whole bracket close. The next one we have outer function e and the inner function is product of two function x into sin 2x. Now when we want to find dy by dx the differentiation of e power x is e power x so e power all the inner function should be written as it is. Then comes the differentiation of the inner function where it present as a product so we apply the product rule uv. The formula is when you want to differentiate uv we write u v dash plus v u dash. So u we have to write as it is in differentiation of sin 2x is cos 2x into 2. Again the differentiation of 2x I have to write plus v we have to write as it is and differentiation of u u dash is 1 that is differentiation of x is 1. Next one we have y is equal to x square plus 1 by x square minus 1 whole cube. So the outermost function is this cube. We apply the formula x power n which is n x power n minus 1. When we differentiate the outer function we write all the inner function as it is. So it is 3 and the inner function will come as it is whole power n minus 1 so 3 minus 1 which is 2. Next we have to differentiate this inner function. It is present in the form u by v. We have to apply quotient rule. So whenever there is u by v we have to differentiate by using the quotient rule v u dash minus u v dash by v square. So here into bracket open v it should be written as it is x square minus 1 into u dash the differentiation of x square plus 1 is 2x minus u should be written as it is then differentiation of v is 2x then whole divided by v square so x square minus 1 whole square then further simplification the first two terms written as it is. Here this 2x can be taken common. After that it is x square minus 1 and this is minus x square minus 1. I carry the minus inside then this is x square minus 1 whole square. You can cancel x square and minus x square. This minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. Totally our answer is writing the first terms as it is. Then here it is minus 4x because these two terms combine to give minus 2. Here it is 2x so minus 4x divided by x square minus 1 whole square. 
next one we have y is equal to 2 power sin pi x here we are going to apply the formula a power x differentiation is a power x log a so here dy by dx equal to 2 power so 2 power all the inner functions should be written as it is into log 2 we finish the differentiation of the outer function which is 2 power something and after that this inner function's differentiation should be written here sin pi x differentiation is cos pi x again this is the inner function its differentiation is into pi so this should be in a bracket even this is supposed to be in a bracket so totally we can write all the constants in front so pi log 2 then we have cos pi x into 2 power sin pi x